What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today, we are talking about factors. Let's dive right in. The objective today. Today, I will be able to find the factors of a number that is from 1 to 100. So the first thing we need to do is figure out, okay, well, what is a factor? So here I have a blank multiplication equation, right? And the factor actually are the factors are numbers that we multiply together. So these two numbers, no matter what they are, we're going to call them a factor. And then of course, the answer to a multiplication uh, problem is going to be called our product. So two factors multiplied together are going to give you a product. Now you could have three factors, but factors are just numbers that you multiply together. So an example might be, right, um, 10 times 9 equals 90. So a factor of 90 could be 10 and a factor of 90 could be 9. So now that we kind of understand what a factor is, let's think about what is our missing factor. So what factor could I multiply by 5 to get 10? Obviously the answer is 2. So the statement you could say is that 2 is a factor of 10 and 5 is a factor of 10. Now for our product 6, if one of our factors is 2, what does our other factor have to be? 2 times what equals 6? And obviously the answer is 3. So when we're talking about factors, we're talking about the numbers that you're multiplying together. They're going to give you a product. So the question that you see a lot is, what are the factors of blank? Right? What are the factors of 7? What are the factors of 8 in this case? And so the way that we write this is we're going to write our factors of 8 in a factor rainbow. So the first thing we need to think about, right, is what are, what is a factor, right? So a factor is what numbers can I multiply together? That should be a time sign to give me eight. All right. And so obviously the easiest one is always one times eight, right? And I know that eight times one is the same thing, commutative property, but the digits are the same, one and eight. I know because this is eight, it's kind of a basic fact. I know two times four or four times two, right? And then I can't do anything by three. I can't multiply anything by, um, I already have four. I can't do five or six, right? So I, I have four factors for this number. I have one, eight, two, and four. And the way you'll see this written a lot of times is you'll see it in what's called a factor rainbow, hence the theme of rainbows for this uh, lesson. And so you'll be kind of connecting them like this. And really what this line is saying is that you can do one times eight or eight times one. And then you'll have two times four or four times two, right? And so my factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. But the question then becomes, what if it's a number not like eight? What if it's not an easy number to think of the factors because I know my basic facts? What if it's a number like 23 or 32 or 97? What is a strategy I can use then to find all of the factors of that number without having to memorize crazy multiplication facts. Let's look at some a few steps. Steps for finding factors the instructor beat way. The first thing you're going to do, okay, is you're going to round your product up, the product being the number that you are trying to find the factors of. You're going to round it up, okay, to the nearest multiple of 10, right? What that means is you want to have a zero for your last digit. Now, these steps might be a little bit confusing when you just read them, but go ahead, um, stick with me. I'll show you an example, and I think all will become clear in time. After you round that number up to the nearest multiple of 10, you want to find half of that number and then make a list from 1 to that number. So, for example, half of 10, if I was, let's say I want to find the factors of 10, right? Half of 10 would be 5, so I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I'm making a list, and then we want to add the actual number to the end of this list. So if I'm trying to find the factors of 10, my last number would obviously be 10. And then I'm going to go through each number on the list to see if it's a factor. So let me give you an example of this. Um, go ahead and pause the video. Write down these steps if you need to, but we'll go through them. And I think even though they're a little wordy, it'll make a lot more sense when you see an example. What are the factors of 34? Okay, so my first step was to round 34, the product I'm trying to find the factors to, up to the nearest multiple of 10, which for 34 would be 40. Now, 
now that I have an easy multiple of 10, I can think to myself, okay, the second question or second step, what is half of 40? The answer to that would be 20. So I'm going to make a list one to 20. Okay. And yes, this is a little bit of time consuming, but this is a great strategy to use if you're not really solid on your basic facts or if you're kind of struggling with this concept. Eventually you can get away from making this, but this is a great strategy to start with. Okay. So I'm going to make a list one to 20 because 20 is half of 40. And then I'm going to, I'm done with 40 now. I'm going to add my number to the end of it. So the product I'm trying to find is 34, right? So I'm going to add 34 to the end of this. Now I want to go through the list and I want to skip count by each number to see if it could be a factor of 34. So my first one is really easy. I always know that one times the number itself is going to be a factor. Now this is an even number, 34. So I know that two is going to work. So I need to figure out what times two equals 34. What is the other factor pair for two that's going to give me 34, right? So I'm going to start with an easy one. I know two times 10 would be 20. So which if, if I'm not sure of my basic facts, I can just skip count from here. So two times 10 is 20. Two times 11 would be 22. Two times 12 would be 24. Two times 13 would be 26. Two times 14 would be 28. Two times 15 would be 30. Two times 16 would be 32. 2 times 17 would be 34. So 2 and 17 are a factor pair. They go together to make the product 34. Now, I'm going to start at 3. I'm going to go straight to 3 times 10 because that's 30. Okay, 30. 3 times 11 would be 33 then. 3 times 12 would be 36. So 3 does not work. 4. Okay, so I can't start at 4 times 10 because that's already too big. Um, I could do 4 times 8 right? Four times eight is 32. If you have to, you can start all the way at zero, but use your basic facts to help you. Um, matter of fact, let's just start with four times five. Uh, so four times five is 20. Four times six would be 24. Four times seven would be 28. Four times eight would be 32. Four times nine would be 36. So five or four does not work. Five doesn't work because this number doesn't end in a zero or five, right? Some divisibility rules for you guys. Six, so I know 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 would be 36. So 6 does not work either. 7. 7 times uh, 5 is 35. So I know that doesn't work. 8. I know 8 times 4 is 32, which means 8 times 5 would be uh, four, uh, 40. Sorry. So that doesn't work. And now I know 9 doesn't work. 10 doesn't work. 11, 22, 33, 34 or 44, that number doesn't work. 12, 24, 36, that number doesn't work. 13 plus 13 would be 26, plus another 13 would be 39, that doesn't work. And now I know the rest of them don't work because if 14 times any of these numbers would have worked, I would have already circled it. So 14 doesn't work, 15 doesn't work, 16, 19, and 20. So your factor rainbow for this is 1, 2, 17, and 34, and then you can connect these. So 34 has four different factors. So again, my steps I used, I rounded 34 up to the closest multiple of 10. I found out half of that was 20. I made a list of numbers so I could either circle them or cross them out. I added 34 to the end of it, right? Because 1 times 34 obviously are factors of 34. And then I just skip counted by each of these using my basic facts to help me to figure out if any of the other ones had a factor pair, two numbers you multiply together to get my number. I found that one times 34 and two times 17 both worked. Hopefully this has helped you out a little bit. Um, please check out our other songs and videos at Instructed Beats Official. You can follow us on Instagram at Instructed Beats. We appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Instructed Beats, out!